Welcome once again to another episode of Mr. Ben Plays Pokemon Violet. I will be getting joined by my friends here shortly. But uh, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of progress in because we're 14 episodes in. We've only got one gym badge. We've got one Titan Pokemon down. And uh, uh, we need to make some progress. But I have not been sitting idly, sitting idly by. I did go ahead and catch some other Pokemon off screen. I have gotten a Flamingo, which I have named Fist of Justice. Uh, named Fista Justice, because I can't name Fist of in there. Uh, despite the fact that it has no fists either, whatever, whatsoever. Dr. Fuzzy Bomb and Grace both evolved off screen. They are now a Gyarados and a Curlia, respectively. I have also caught a whole bunch of Pokemon off screen as well. I got a Wangle. I got a Drowsy. I caught whatever the fuck this thing is. Um, a Flittle. Uh, caught a few other Pokemon. But then I also went ahead and I got two of these uh, parrot birds, both a green one and a blue one, and got their Pokedex things for each. Got a Teddy Ursa and a Rookie D. And uh, yeah, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is start making our way toward uh, the next uh, objective, which is going to be taking on Team Star for the first time. And I think what I want to do is I want to, whoops, you know what, I'm actually going to check out this grass maze here just for a second, because I only, because I saw, yep, there it was, oh, <laughs> Poison Tail, that's a good move right there. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I made it to the center, but I don't think there's anything... You actually found your way here. No one ever makes it this far, so I decided to make it to my secret base. Now, we don't get anything for getting there, so we're just going to go ahead and leave. Claw. Nice. Alright. Now we're just going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. Oh. There we go, Polka Doll. Huh. to 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 Cassiope here. I see you're getting one close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you decided to join my operation? I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Huh. Hold on a second! Does this Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Well, who are you? You look kind of like Director Clavel. <laughs> the name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here. Isn't that right, Mr. Ben? I guess, maybe? <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you could join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Great. That settles it, then. I think I've heard your name earlier. Cassiope, wasn't it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. In that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? 
Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Huh. You need we need to ask their bosses from their role somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, uh, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side is the is the, is the base proper. Somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. That's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and asked you challenges to each base under your name, Mr. Ben. Thank you for my input. I didn't ask you to do that. They're basically declarations of war. Now all the Team Star knows we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. A solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they'd get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first, though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history with Team Star. That means I can't operate on the open, but I'll back you up from afar. Alright, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Mr. Ben's support. You're a cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, Mr. Ben. <laughs> Director Clavel? <laughs> I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> Whatever you say, Director. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody. Whoa, 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 you can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. Oh, and I have... Glad that I went ahead and I had Fist of Justice right out in the front. Now level 25 doesn't really matter. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, ain't you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Mr. Ben. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of the crew. Hasta la vista. Hey, Mr. Ben! Cassiope told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm all though, but uh, that I'm through, but seems you're all set. What? Hey, it's a Charcadet. Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? You know this little fella? This is Charlos, the Charcadet. Huh. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. 
Ah, Charlos, wait! Ah, oh, he ran off. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll go regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Mr. Ben. I see you dealt with the guard standing, grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stations inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedar Squad. The Cheddar Squad? No. Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way, though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront her, you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedder Squad off the map. Alrighty. <laughs> Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Oh, no. Let me revise that. Uh... They're fire type. I'm gonna go ahead. There we go. Huh. Huh. Get Mr. Ben. Team Star is a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through it, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon get low on health, come back here. I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal their Pokemon too. Stay sharp out there. Beep. Heads up, gang. Some jumped up kids wandered in thinking he could raid our base. Clearly, he doesn't know who he's fucking with. Teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you could defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Alright. Send out your Pokemon with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star's Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of a Star Barrage, you can have three Pokemon out at the same time. You lose in a Star Barrage if all your Pokemon get too worn to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover HP by using a vending machine. If you decide to want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button to surrender. Alright! Yeah, the doctor's gonna be, uh... Well, everyone's gonna be, uh, be good on this here. going? Fine, I just finished brushing my teeth and gargling out. Well, not gargling, spinning out a few things, but... <laughs> oh, I didn't know I sat my, put my gear lean out before I saved. You get back in your Pokeball. Okay, I'm gonna go challenge the electric gym now, it's been too long. Say, yep, I'm in the process of uh, taking on Team Star's Firebase. Oh yeah, the place where I found all those bronzers, it's uh, it's close by the, it's nearby the Titan ba Rock Titan uh, badge. Not gonna help me out because I'm playing Violet version. Oh yeah, did you... Oh wait, Bronzer is a version exclusive? Uh, I guess? I don't know. I know that the Bronzer is... is I think the Bronzor and Bronzong was the... Uh, way you need to... Uh, help evolve Charkida in Scarlet. So I don't know if... Uh... Oh wow, my... Uh... Oh, Dave said about something about... Uh... 
not finding bronzer yet, so maybe it could be, but... Living... Living Vina City. Yeah, I gave my dearling the... Shed Shell, uh, what was it called again? Uh, shell Bell, yeah, I gave it the Shell Bell. Bronzer, Quick Claw. It is nothing. That's done. Focus fail. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Lots of Team Stars, Fire Crew, Mela! So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get fucked up. Uncle Bug. That is some pretty rocking music, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and she has a quick ball. Nice. Wonder. <laughs> can hopefully finally get to run with me dearly. Wonder when I can finally get quick balls myself. Right here, right now, you're going down. All righty, well. Oh, it has drought. Okay, I, this isn't going to be as uh, easy as I thought it was going to be then. <laughs> this move will torch until there ain't nothing but ash left. Oh, I have expected it to... Uh... That was for the rest of the Shedder Squad. I'm probably for mispronouncing that. Uh... Probably. Sh oh, I can. I can take care. I could Oh, I actually have all of my Pokemon. I can swap out to. All right. Cool. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my Pokemon here. Oh, the electric gym leader is a streamer. Yep. Oh, hi, Neoma. Nimona. Yeah. yeah, I have a bit of trouble pronouncing her name, too. I. It's. Uh, Nimona. But I. I still have a bit of a problem with her. I swear I'm not sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go. Oh, wow, we're like as we battle now that you're here. I ain't going to a crisp just yet! <laughs> Wait. The truck is a Pokemon? Oh shit, that's oh, that's kinda awesome. Was it the same truck that drove me that Kirby swallowed to get to the final boss? Don't know. <laughs> shit our Starmo. I'm actually fighting a car, that's as funny as hell. Oh, you're at the base, yeah. Yeah. I'm at the electric gym and, ooh, someone has a Jolteon. Ooh, critical strike. Yeah, I think I got Firestone, a Thunderstone. I don't have a Water or a Leaf or I got two ice. Water Stones. I got uh, a Water Stone for my Pokédex. Why don't you try looking at that? Amazing. Yeah, I need to. Damn it! I need to get Water Stone because I got six Eevees already, and I need to evolve one of them. Say this thing has speed boost. Not starting yet until Jay comes in. There he is. Okay. I'll at least take care of uh, the drought that that thing had, so... 
and yeah, also right. cut down its blazing torque. Alright, just tell me when you're ready, G. Well, um, I'm going for the dialogue, so it gives me the real code. Okay. Oh, oh it has hydration. Okay, I'm glad I had frame dance on this thing. G J J P R C. Oh, I have to get subscribers. No, so it's it's G. Oh, you're in the never mind. DMs in the DMs in the GM. And I'm currently taking on Mela on Team Star, so I won't be able to join in right away either. All right, then I'm gonna just currently start leveling up my next EV to uh, Umbreon. Or... It's time for the Leono Zone. So I will. But yeah, I'll be able to join in any time still, G. So I'm just gonna love up my EVs then. And get his All oh, her hair buns are magnemites. That's one a team star down. One down, throw to go. Oh, and bonjour. Uh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. All right, I can put this, I can put Sylvie on in my box. And then we get a, a year and a half ago, just random, random cutscene out of nowhere. Huh. I'm guessing this is the other four members of Team Star. Huh. Managed to get a bunch of Charcadets. And I'm all kinds of busy, so you can't collab with you unless I know you can bring in a sweet, sweet viewer number. Well, I mean, I gotta make sure you can bring some real passion to my stream. Neho. So if you want to bow me, you gotta have to uh, have to help me make this live stream a viral hit. Got it? So yeah, I'm not when, to walk about. So yeah, when yeah, once Ben and DM are all set, we should all be good, uh, G. Because me, I'm just uh, I'm just leveling up EV at the moment so I can evolve them, get their friendship up. Oh crap! Forgot to take the bell off my Sylvian. Using the surveillance cameras, find the principal three times so you can see his gym past. Where in? Levin is seen as Mr. Walks about. <laughs> that Gyarados of yours really let us have it, she says, even though my Gyarados was only out for the first two turns, and it was pretty much my uh, my Gumi and my um, Pseudo Wudo that pretty much did all the heavy lifting. Are you sure? There's nothing if you're about it. <laughs> Beating me in battle is a huge deal, so take this star badge and be proud of yourself. It, I love that. Look, look, she slapped us. Team Stars Fire Crew defeated Starfall Street. Hey, half our dapper gentleman is ready. Hey, Mr. Walks, if I'm good to go. Ooh, yes, Team 38 Flame Charge. And let me make thing, one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Gyarados, even though my Gyarados can't actually use Flame Charge. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. Piss off. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like for you to see. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be, old timer? She says to the director, clearly in disguise. <laughs> a Charcadet? Wait. <laughs> ha! Hey, Evie just spawned right in front of me. That's good. <laughs> well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to this space looking for you. Give me your trainer, trainer Mark Martini. <laughs> He's very attached to you, isn't the he? Pokey fans look the Pokemon Manix look ridiculous in this generation. You can even tell him more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. <laughs> you any have an idea why Charles wanted to visit you? Because <laughs> he missed me. You choking the bronze are right here. Right, I better didn't have to go all the way like, they out to the north there. North for them. Uh, it looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Oh, just shut it already, would you? 
They say Team Star is holding itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? Huh, first I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting bullshit. Huh, what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? Huh, the Starmobile? We made that a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. Huh, you never used it before? What's all this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star, not Man, Star Fall? Man, there's Pokemon because he knows about charges. First time here. Right? Probably because he doesn't think he knock out my gear. For me and the rest of the team, Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Alright, cool. All I need is one more EV and then I'll be all set with that at least. Are you fighting the gym leader, DM, or are you doing the challenge? I'm going to fight the gym leader soon. And you win good. Well done, challenger friendo. Time for a change of scenery. Here we go, the next stage for my totally rad test. Everyone loves it, it's the Pokemon Center. Hmm, 5,000 LP for defeating Mila. And we can make more kinds okay, of Okay, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. They just switched the Pokemon Center girl with the with the guy. No, you did not blend out, you blend into your surroundings, you stuck out with like a sore thumb. Game Freak, what the fuck are you smoking? Hey, Penny. You call this challenging for kids? Another Pokemon manic fight. It's work. Well, it's work. It's where's Wald always Mr. But at least, but look, look on the bright side, DM. At least it's not stupid or like where's Wald or on the NES. <laughs> Lots of Pokemon materials. Huh, nice. Now we'll get even more rewards for taking out more Team Star bases. Four more squad bosses left. Alrighty, well that has been uh, Team Star boss taken down. That is going to be going ahead, and uh, I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Next time I'll put Mr. Ben plays Pokemon Vile. We're going to go ahead and keep moving on onward, and uh, I guess we'll probably... Oh, that's... I can't make that jump. I'm going to have to go all the way around, and... Oh, I didn't want to fight this thing! Oh, well, fuck it. I'm going to be ending the episode here anyway, so next time Pokemon, uh, Mr. Ben plays Pokemon Violet, we're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. Who knows, maybe we'll have to get to the next town and take on yeah, a second gen bottle. Might even take on another Titan Pokemon. See you guys ne next episode.